year, for the fifth time, Solar Plaza is organizing its Global Demand Forum, which is concentrated on the global demand dynamics in the major solar PV markets. In our short reportage from the forum, we will present the experts' opinion about the major market developments and we will try to find the answer on the question for how long Domini will remain the world's leading market. So could you update us on market development and policy situation in your country this year? What numbers do you expect and what influence markets the most? So for the US, uh, we're expecting about 1.8 gigawatts of installations for 2011. And uh, a big part of that is coming from the fact that we still have the cash grant, which is a 30%, essentially a 30% rebate on the cost of an installed solar system that's still available. Um, we also have a, a, about 700 megawatts uh, of utility scale generation coming online. So we're continuing to see the utility scale market ramp up in a pretty meaningful way. Well, we have seen um, that the first half of the year uh, the market was relatively small and therefore we, have, we, don't, we didn't see a reduction of the feed-in tariff in July. This would, could happen. Uh, the number for 2011 is uh, difficult to forecast, but since August uh, um, the, the number in general was low, I would expect that we are, will be in a range of perhaps 5 gigawatt in 2011, since uh, it will be difficult to be higher um, this year. But uh, we will see. For sure, we will see an increase in the last month, so September to December, but uh, it will be difficult to reach the numbers of last year. Yeah, from a political point of view, in this moment in Italy, there is a, uh, an unstable situation. We see that uh, uh, majority in this moment is really trying to keep their position, but uh, we expect that, or let's say there are high probability we will have a change in the government by this year. And uh, the other parties are even more supportive of PV. Uh, the figures we expect for uh, this year in Italy are in the range, as market demand, are in the range of 3 gig. We are reviewing these figures upside, but this is more or less the magnitude of the market this year. While the installation that uh, comes from also 2010 Salva Coalo will bring the installation in Italy even above 7 gigawatt this year. The French market uh, last year was uh, about 700 megawatts, and this year we expect it to be 1.3 gigawatts. Now, this is a bit misleading because the actual um, market which is now available is much smaller. What we're talking is great connection of systems, of projects which were planned and initiated uh, last year before the moratorium. Uh, in China, we, this year we have the first national feeding tariff and uh, the number we are expecting is between 1.3 to 1.6 gigawatts for 2011. Uh, I expect 1.1 gigawatt uh, for this year and uh, the, after the earthquake the demand for the residential is increasing that gives the growth of the market. In Korea in this year I estimate about 130 megawatt the main distribution is RPS systems. I think government has been extremely smart in, in uh, taking smaller steps while launching a national solar mission. And uh, the first stage of the first phase has been completed quite successfully with 150 megawatts of capacity and its financial closure virtually all sealed and done. After the success of that, government just announced last week the next stage of phase one for 350 megawatts and that process is underway as we speak and government has already taken the right steps of increasing the size of individual project so that only large and serious su players succeed in this phase. I think we are at the cusp of uh, huge growth with right policy push and, and uh, all kinds of right people coming to India to make solar a success because as I mentioned in India solar is not for such is, is not for substituting uh, not so clean energy but it's for energy access as 40 percent of people don't have access to energy in India and uh, market which was barely 40 megawatts grid connected as of March 2011 we'll see almost close to 800 to 900 megawatts of installation in this fiscal year ending March 2012. And that is not just national solar mission, but also pushed by some of the forward-looking state policies in India from the states like Gujarat, Rajasthan.
What is your forecast for the year 2012? What are the challenges and opportunities? So for 2012, we are currently estimating about 2.6 gigawatts of uh, PV will be installed. In terms of the, the challenges, I think uh, you know, one factor that does lend some risk to this assessment is the expiration of the cash grant. It's going to be, as things stand, converted into a tax credit, uh, the way things were before 2009. And I'm not sure there is still enough tax equity uh, in, to be able to leverage uh, the ITC in, in an optimized way. So I think that does lend some, some risk. Um, but uh, our, at the same time, the estimate we have does not take into account uh, the expiration, so there is upside if it were to be extended. The forecast 2012 would be in the same range of, I would say, 5 gigawatt. Since uh, we will see an additional reduction of the feed-in tariff and it will be difficult to meet uh, the uh, yeah, expectations of the investors regarding the uh, profitability of the system, uh, of, of, yeah, profitability of the PV investments, um, and what we see is that it is necessary now to do additional steps uh, regarding integration of photovoltaic into the grid. We have now 3.5% uh, of the electricity coming from photovoltaic and now this is growing and therefore it will be more difficult to find, uh, yeah, to, to do the integration of the photovoltaic into the grid. For the next year, we expect a, a slight reduction in the market since this seems to be the market trend globally for the next year. In terms of challenging in this moment, what is challenging in it is the construction phase finance. This is the real bottleneck in the market in 2011. If the bank will go through this, uh, um, let's say, leaning curve fast, they will be able to boost the market, else they will be linked to the finance resource of the player in the, in the supply chain. Uh, for 2012, the new government uh, plan is going to be implemented, which has severely reduced fit in tariffs, and we expect about 500 megawatts in 2012, uh, part of it being with tenders. Now, what we're seeing at Solar Direct is a new category of market coming in, that's the PPA market, and this is going to be, to be emerging, market priced PPAs. Uh, we believe 2012 should be uh, among uh, 2 to 2.5 gigawatts and uh, the biggest challenges for China is uh, how the system and uh, uh, policy uh, movements and uh, whether there will be a further cut down in the feeding tar uh, tariff. 2 gigawatt at the most. Uh, in July 2012, Japanese government will en uh, enforce the new feed-in tariff. That will be the driver of the especially non-residential PV market. I estimate 200, more than 200, I estimate about 300 megawatt. The main distribution is RPS and other subsidy programs in Korea. Now when you talk about the next year, which is FY13, is really what the next year will be that is likely to treble to close to 2.8 gigawatts. And that will be driven by three things. Number one, national solar mission, which will be close to 350 megawatts. Number two, state policies from states like Gujarat, Rajasthan, Karnataka, uh, uh, Tamil Nadu. Off-grid applications, which again has a very de uh, great demand in India and has a great market because it's even more lucrative. And fourth is the RECs. So there's a new mechanism which has been initiated with renewable energy certificates. And that market is, again, about to take off with the right kind of incentives which exist today for, for developers who want to go down that path. Mainly, uh, if we consider Germany this year still reaching levels of uh, 6 gigawatt uh, probably uh, will be still one of the, the top markets, probably even uh, overcoming Italy uh, in 2011. Going forward, I think Germany still will be dominant uh, for the next two years, but uh, I consider uh, a lot of uh, countries are taking over and probably we will be seeing uh, countries like USA uh, coming to the picture in the next, after two years being in the top ones, uh, companies, uh, sorry, countries like uh, China, 
and, and also countries like India will be the, the three major markets in, in 2014, 2015. I think we could be surprised that Italy will be the world's biggest market this year in 2011. And other markets that will explode, it, in my vision, is definitely India, definitely China. US will grow uh, steadily, but a real market explosions we will see in India and China, to my opinion. Thank you.